fourth floor. Oh my God. Help us to raise our understanding of who we were from, we were from, what we're going through, and to encourage us as young people to link up to one another. So the sun system is very, very important. Indeed, indeed. Well, listen. www.lurlive.com. We are going to Wonderful afternoon, Saturday afternoon. Another community worker, great man, always looking, always looking fantastic. Thank you very much, sir. We are Tapo. Uh, Mr. Bob Mike, greetings. Good afternoon, young Bob man. Dog. Good afternoon, Selene. W welcome right here. We are at the shopping centre here, Luton Urban Radio, proudly presenting an event of magnanimous, an event celebrating the Windrush 75th anniversary. Who is Bob Baker? Well, <laughs> I'm a Windrush Generation person. Windrush Generation is from 1948 to 1971. That's the generation. I came up in 1966 and BOAC, which... BOAC? Yeah. Is that some British gas or something? No, no, what BOAC was the British Overseas Airway Corporation. It was a plane. Is a plane? I came on a plane, never coming on a boat. <laughs> <laughs> Not even a to be coming on board. Was you dressed in speak in Spanish? Should I say sharply dressed coming to your mother country? Listen, right, I had to be sharp from back home and I was sharp, so mm. when you come over here you have to dress proper. Of course. Trust me. I noticed you you, you grow B or A C. Why that significant regret on that particular plan? If you are thinking about going into business, do it. Do some research, do what makes you um, proud and makes you passionate, and get involved with anyone because they will definitely promote you. Um, I've just recently got my greeting cards into a wonderful local shop, which has um, only been open for a few months, and we have one of the representatives here on my on my right. And then and the shop is stuff will be Jay Chaffee. Jay Chaffee is a French um, hi, so I'm Kat and I'm a worker at JTFBS. Um, yeah, sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry to put you on the shame This is live, we love it, we love it. Yeah. So, what's it like working for this particular business? Um, well, I really enjoy it. Like, um, I like the vibes in there, it's a very colourful shop. Um, the trousers I'm actually wearing now are from the shop, and you can see they have like an array of colours on my. Own. Do you have to be a particular person? I'm looking at me now. Do you have to be shaped to wear the colour? Of course not. Of course not. We have it in unisex and we have them in many different colours. But like. Wow, this is dry, bro. What do they call it? Who writes books? What do they call it? Somebody writes that. Yeah, we've got people like me, you can see. So we've got like this live right here. She's an author. And you see in the beginning there, um, you were asked to write about the windrush. Before we get to the, the windrush, what does it mean to you? It's very personal because I was born in Jamaica and came to Britain in 1963 as a two-year-old. And it means family, it means culture, it means pain, it means survival, it means resilience, it means keep standing, that's what it means. Lady Anne Grace made a point in the other round, she said, we never talk about the children. You yourself came at the age of two. We're going to give you a platform, if you can. Please go ahead. Are you ready for the 
poetry now? Indeed we are. <laughs> right, okay. So this poem is just entitled Windrush Tribute Poem. Wind your mind back to the images, melanin rich humanity. Standing on the decks in grainy black and white, cafe news hues, but in reality, colorful and vibrant. Wind was not required to bear the vessel, HMT, Windrush, and its excited human inventory. The suits have been tailored, the dresses made, hats and even gloves purchased to help grip the grips, those rigid bearers of treasures and necessities. I hear the cold can kill you over there. Please, I beg you, be careful. You're here. An anxious farewell from a Caribbean port. Fare thee well, fare thee well. The anticipation, the hope of Mother England opening her arms wide Envision that welcoming embrace with tear-stained faces, the greeting of children who had been asked to come and they had obliged. Our documents are in order and our travel may seem long and England will praise us. We will all get along. Friendships, fellowships, relationships, guardianships, apprenticeships, stewardships. Everyone had hope of these kind of ship journeys on the sea of expectation. We will help rebuild mother as requested, make money and her a powerful nation. The arrival was so exciting it made Lord Kitchener break out in song. London is the place for me.